In this video, I share my top five favorite painting blogs. What up, mini family? As mentioned in the past, miniature painting blogs are a fantastic source of motivation and inspiration. And they're also a great way to kind of keep tabs on your favorite painters. In this video, we'll explore my favorite miniature painting blogs. Coming up at number five is a painter by the name of Yoon, who does a lot of sculpting and also painting. He sculpts mostly for the Nuts Planet sci-fi range and also paints those miniatures as well for the box art. It's really awesome to see his process for sculpting and painting, and his painting is also incredibly smooth. The one caveat of his blog though is that none of his tutorials are written in English, which is pretty much a testament to his work. I don't need his words to appreciate his work. Coming up at number four is Sam Lenz's painting blog. I love Sam's blog because it reminds me that I should be painting. He updates his blog so frequently and the majority of his posts are either work in progresses or completed miniatures. It's seriously insane how quickly this guy can pump out such high quality miniatures. Also, every once in a while he posts some metal music, which I am pretty fond of. At number three we have Volomir or Raphael. I remember when I first discovered this blog, I binge read everything on it in two days. The amount of quality articles he has on his blog is flabbergasting. He has a series where he interviews other fantastic painters, which is awesome to read their insights. He has another series about him painting his amazing looking high elf army, which is great to see. He also has a lot of other miscellaneous tutorials, but probably my favorite series on his website is the Don't Miss series. Every single month he collects a bunch of miniatures and also tutorials that he think were the best in that month and he shares them on his miniature painting blog. It's a great way to find other painters and other blogs with great content. Seriously, this guy is so tapped into the miniature community and to the hobby that it is infectious. Go check him out. He doesn't post so regularly anymore, but it's a great library of content to read through. Coming in at number two is a blog that I've mentioned several times in the past, Massive Voodoo. These guys, out of all the blogs in the list, update the most regularly, almost every single day, if not multiple times a day. The amount of articles on their website and also the diversity of their articles is outstanding. You'll find things about their trash can they use in their studio or music that inspires them during painting. Much like Volomir's blog, there is a huge list of content for you to leaf through for days and days, so make sure to check it all out. Additionally, most of the painting is done by Roman Lepat, who is a fantastic painter and has an incredibly different style, so check him out and get inspired. Finally, coming in at number one, my personal favorite painting blog, Sprocket's Small World, run by the brilliant David Soper. This guy is such a spectacular painter to me, and his patience and excellence puts me in awe. His Slayer Sword winning Dark Eldar diorama took over two years to complete. He clearly settles for nothing less than what he knows is his best work, and I aspire to be just like that. The quality of his articles and his explanations are top notch. If I had the ability to absorb any one single miniature painter's skills, it would be David's. Those are my top five favorite painting blogs, but I follow a ton more. For a complete list, check out the description of this video. But did I miss any that you guys like to follow? If so, comment below with your favorite painting blogs. But speaking of you guys, let's check out the community highlights for this week. This week we have Malifaux Guild Miniatures from Kapui, a friend of mine from the mini painting subreddit. Cap is a new painter and what you can see from model to model is him getting better and better and I love that. Keep up the good work, Cap. If you want to see pictures of your miniatures at the end of one of my videos, check out the description. Thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing, but more importantly, go paint some minis. You see posts to forums and Reddit all the time with titles like, sorry for the potato quality, but could you criticize this please? One thing that should be mentioned is that I am clearly the superior painter, but I can't take alcohol as good as Trip can here. 